Okay, all right, we are trying to get back into the habit of vlogging, but um, as always, I've left this to the last minute. It is 4.15 on the 3rd of July, and I've been working from home, so please excuse my hair. It's just air dried, and because um, I haven't had to go into the office, I haven't been styling it. Um, trying to give my hair a bit of a break when I can from heat. But luckily for you guys, I've had Zoom meetings today, so I do have makeup on. Um, but like I said, it's 4.15 in the afternoon, so um, it's Wednesday as well, and I should have my vlog edited by this point and just on my laptop trying to upload to YouTube in preparation for going live tomorrow evening. But as always, I am disorganized and I've just been um, incredibly busy as well. But I want to start getting back into the um, into vlogging and also just being present on social media um, because over the next few weekends I've got some fun things kind of planned and I want to vlog and I want to take you along with me for them. So we're going to use this as like a bit of like a test vlog <laughs> and um, try to get back into the routine. Um, but I'm also racing against the clock because as you can probably tell by how um, not bright <laughs> this video is, the sun is going down. So um, like I said, I'm just trying to get this out and done. But I owe you a catch up. And that is why we are here in front of the camera um, because I kind of disappeared off the face of the earth for the past like six, no, it must be longer eight weeks anyway a period of time I disappeared and um, I wasn't even really on Instagram um, either because I had to um, I guess pull my energy in a little bit and be a bit protective of myself and a bit gentle with myself and um, I'm also as I've gotten older I think I am better at, at recognizing when I'm stretched too thinly and I need to just um, pull some things or stop things for a bit and focus on what's kind of important or really needs my focus at that period of time. So YouTube unfortunately this time was one of those things that I had to just let slip and I would obviously pick it up when I could. So that's what I did and now we are back here. Um, but like I said I owe you a bit of a catch up. So um, those who have been watching my vlogs would know that my house went on the market at the beginning of April and it was due to be auctioned off at the end of April. However, <laughs> about two and a half weeks into the campaign, um, I pulled the house off the market and there were a couple of reasons for this. Um, one, which we don't need to discuss, but the, the main one ultimately was I had realized that selling this house was going to be out of alignment essentially with like how I live my life, um, which I know sounds so ridiculous and so sappy and um, yeah, I'm aware of that, but <laughs> I'm very much a um, have your cake and eat it too kind of person. And I just kind of realized that the stuff that I was, uh, that I want to do and like was selling my house for, um, I can still do it and hold on to this asset. So, um, oh, by the way, that is my heater. That's, um, it's freezing cold today. So it is struggling a little bit, I think, to um, heat the air that it's pulling from outside um, to heat the house. Anyway, um, so yes, have your cake and eat, eat it too. I can do all the things whilst keeping the house. Um, so that's ultimately what I decided to do. So I pulled the house off the market, um, but in doing so, that's when, well, actually, that's when I stopped vlogging because um, it was actually really stressful to do so, if I'm completely honest. Um, there was a lot of tying up of loose ends and 
kind of getting the house back into um, a state where we're like living in it again. So, you know, that's pulling old stuff from our storage unit back in um, just because a lot of it was Bella's toys, which um, she had done so well to part with for a few weeks that um, we just, that was the first thing that we kind of did actually was bring them back in so that she could play with them. Um, but it also, like I said, tying a lot of loose ends. So obviously part of the process was informing my agents that um, of my decision to, to pull the house. And they were great. They were really understanding and um, really helpful as well. So we had a number of buyers that were actually interested in um, making it to the auction. We, I actually, um, I had actually taken a few um, offers as well before um, I don't know what the term is but essentially they were just made hoping that we wouldn't have to go to auction um, I had turned them down but um, they were still going to be bidding so my agents thankfully took on that role of informing the prospective buyers that of my decision um, but that didn't mean that things like I didn't need to then tie off some loose ends so um, I still had to inform my lawyers um, <laughs> I still had to like I said get the storage unit done unpacked um, and then there were a number of bills that also needed to be paid as a result of listing my house as well so my tip for you is do not list your house unless you're sure you're going to be selling it because I could have bought myself a very 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 nice handbag with the money that I've now had to part with for marketing legal fees um, various like inspection building inspections and to get appropriate building reports etc as well um, so yeah I do not recommend that please do not list your house unless you are going to sell it um, but um, that, and that was kind of another, so when the stress kind of died down in my life, um, I still had those bills to pay and that's why I didn't pick up the camera straight away as well when I stopped being stressed, um, because I actually thought that it would be so boring for content for you to, uh, in terms of content for my, like, vlogging my life at that point because I kind of, um, have you seen those reels on Instagram where they're like, what are you doing this weekend? Um, enjoying my mortgage. Like that's essentially what I felt like I had been doing. But um, looking back, I had a trip with Bella. I've had a trip with Ben and um, bought various things as well that I feel like I could have vlogged um, because I feel like you guys would have found value in it. So I feel like I missed a lot of opportunities there, but um I just, I just needed to have a bit of downtime, I think, just to live life a little bit and chill out. Um, so that's, yeah, why, that's the reason why I disappeared for um, a good chunk of time. But I'm now back and um, I'm kind of using this vlog as like my warm up vlog to get back into the habit because I still find it really awkward. I, I actually, no, I'm quite comfortable in front of the camera. I find it awkward to start talking in front of the camera. So this is like the third try of me talking to you. <laughs> um, just repeating the same information, but I'd finished recording, turn it off the camera. I'm like, no, 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 I wasn't happy with that. So I need to pick it up again. Um, but as I get into the habit of vlogging, it actually becomes a little bit more natural uh, to do so. So um, that's what this vlog is for me. It's just getting used to being back in front of the camera and also getting back into the habit of just picking up the camera um, because yeah, there's a few things that I've got coming up over the next few weekends that I'm very excited about. And I actually, I really want to bring you along with it, uh, with me because I think it'd be really fun. So um, now that I've kind of told you why I disappeared, um, I guess that might raise some questions as well as to what my like future plans are. So I know that I've spoken about move like when obviously when we were going to sell this house, we were going to move into another house. That's still going to happen. Um, I still like we still plan on moving. However, 
now that I don't have like a settlement date or anything, I'm not um, as pressured, I guess, to make that happen. So I will still be doing that, um, but it won't be for a few months, I think, or a couple of months, two or three months, maybe. Um, I've already, so, um, the agency that I was going to sell through, they also do property management. I've also, uh, I've already given them the heads up that I'm going to need a property manager, but I've told them it won't be for a few months, um, which they find mildly confusing, but, um, they've been good about it. Um, I explained to them that I just, I'm just enjoying not having to like be in and out of my house for open homes and packing and worrying about, um, you know, uh, the house being immaculate um, for people to come and view. So, yes, still moving out, um, but like I said, not for a couple of months. Um, in the meantime, I am, yeah, just focusing on living life a little bit, I guess, like being a little bit more relaxed, um, where I am, I'm, I'm, I'm and I'm putting my energy, I guess, into things that I really want to. So, um, like I said, vlogging is uh, a big part of that. I really enjoy vlogging, actually. It's a lot of fun for me. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that more. Um, I'm also just learning to kind of take care of myself a little bit better because I hadn't realized that in the process of getting the house ready, to list and then also having it on the market i kind of picked up some really bad habits sorry that's my sister messaging me um i feel like she always messages me when i'm like vlogging anyway um uh, i picked up some really bad habits and lost some good habits along the way where i like just was taking care of myself so um i need to get better at that um like, you know, just eating properly, that's a massive thing. When I get stressed, I just, my eating just, I turn into a toddler with my eating um, to the point where Ben quite often will call and um, ask me if I've had dinner <laughs> because, um, and what I've had for dinner because um, apparently sometimes the food that I eat uh, doesn't actually constitute a proper meal and um, I end up being hauled over to his so that he can make sure that I'm actually eating properly which um, I, I really appreciate but um, I do need to get better at just taking care of myself. Um, the gym is also a big thing. Um, I, I have been incredibly inconsistent with that and I need to get back into the habit because um, if anything, like I, I just love the gym for one. Um, I really like working out, but I also really miss <laughs> my body of that I have when I'm working out consistently. Um, so that is something that I am focusing on. Um, I need to obviously focus on work. That's been going nuts, um, particularly this week. And I've got a few other prospects that I want to make happen. Um, a few opportunities that I really want to take advantage of. Um, so putting my time into that as well. And yeah, so anyway, um, I also, um, I don't know if I said this in this take of this vlog um, or whether it was the other two takes that I decided I didn't like, but um, there were a few things that I've kind of bought over the past few weeks as well that I really wish that I had been vlogging so that I could tell you about. Um, one of which actually arrived this week, no, last week, um, which I'll insert because um, I did record me unboxing that um, because I'm obsessed with this item. So I'm gonna put that footage in here. All right, so I'm not in the mood to vlog today, but these things have arrived and I want to play with them because they are my new toys, but I also wanted to vlog unboxing them. So I've switched on the camera just for these purposes and um, I'll add this in to the vlog at some point. But, so what I have received, is my new agenda from 
Louis Vuitton. So yes, I have already ripped open the box. Um, that's because I wanted to send a picture of it arriving to Ben. Um, but I'm not actually unboxed the agenda itself. Um, so I actually, I ordered this yesterday and it's already arrived, which is what I love about um, Louis Vuitton in particular because it is such quick delivery. So we've obviously got the envelope with my receipt and all of that, um, which is not very exciting. Then, I'm so excited. I've wanted this for so long, but I'm aware that it's a little bit ridiculous um, to be buying stationery essentially from Louis Vuitton, but it comes in its own dust bag. And I got the large in the monogram. Um, I did do a little bit of back and forth in my own head about this being, you know, so obviously Louis Vuitton because of the monogram, but I decided I actually really love it and um, that's why I bought it. So I got the large, as I said, um, this is what it's like. So it's just the, um, the canvas fabric, the coated canvas, that's the word I'm looking for. But um, what I like about the coated canvas products is they're actually so durable and even more so than the leather because leather obviously scratches and all of that kind of thing. But this is such a good alternative, particularly for something that I'm going to be using so frequently. I am a pen to paper type of person. Now, the thing with this that also, um, you know, caused a little bit of a delay, I guess, in me buying it is I wasn't sure if I'd be able to find infills for it that were not Louis Vuitton because I actually really don't like the Louis Vuitton ones. Um, one, because they don't even have like an English version. Um, I think it's all written in French and I don't like the layout. I'm very particular with um, you know, things being fit for purpose, fit for my purpose. And so I had to do a little bit of Googling to find the infills for it. Um, so different infills for it, obviously. So I found this company May Paper Co and they are Australian, but they do ship internationally. And what I love is they have, and I've already opened this one because I did want to have a sticky beak. Um, I ordered it, I think last week it arrived. So um, I wasn't going to have it just sitting there uh, completely sealed. So I did have a bit of a look, but they have so many options, so many size options. And um, I went a little bit crazy, to be perfectly honest. But they have sent me some foiled stickers. They have, they've got all of their um, paper sizes listed here. But these ones to fit into here are the A5 size. So I thought I would just show you exactly what infills I got. So I got the uh, ruler with the gold uh, font on it. And this is good for marking out sort of where you're up to um, in your calendar. So we've got that. I'll just double check that it actually fits because how embarrassing would it be if it didn't? And sorry, this is so hodgepodge, but I'm like, I'm in a bit of a hurry. But like I said, I wanted to play with this and um, also show you before I, you know, really got into it. But yeah, it perfectly fits. So the A5 is um, the right one for this. I got the projects list infills. So it has a start date, a date due. I don't know why that doesn't say due date, but anyway, uh, description and a priority. So so as you know, I like to project manage my life. So this is perfect for that. I also got a um, infill of lists. So to-do lists and all of that kind of thing. But I, I got this with, um, in, with Ben and I in mind. So we send each other so many 
restaurants and hotels and things like that on Instagram. And then when we actually go away, we completely forget the places that we wanted to visit because there ends up being so much in our Instagram chat that we just can't sift through it all. So I wanted to actually write it out uh, so we can mark it off. But obviously this list, uh, these lists can be used for other things as well, which they will be. Um, I also got the weekly agenda in Phil. These are the undated ones. And the reason why I've gotten undated is because one, I've used them before and I actually find it really handy um, to not, if you make a mistake or whatever, cause I'm a bit of a perfectionist as well. I like things to be neat. So if things get a bit messy, I actually do rewrite it. Um, but also because I'm starting this diary in July, um, I didn't want to buy the dated one and then have to throw out half of it. So that's what I got. I also got the monthly agenda in Phil. So that is, um, a month falls over. It's just the month overview. Um, and it falls over two pages so you can open it up and have them there. Um, which is really good at looking at, you know, things that you've got planned over the month. Um, I find it really handy cause I mark out the weeks that I have Bella, the weeks that I don't, uh, if I'm away, all of that kind of thing. Really, really handy just for that quick glance. Um, I also got two notes in fills. So, um, these ones are just lined and I can obviously write, you know, things down that I need to, um, because this will be like, I intend on using this more than just a planner. I find it really helpful if I've got like particularly a lot of things on my mind to just write it out on paper. And it's like, it just lightens the load a little bit for me. And then I also got the monthly covers. So, um, these I'm going to slot in between um, well, before the monthly agenda overview, um, and then I will put in however many of these I need for the month as well. So these will just be the dividers. So that's what I've got in. That's what I wanted to share with you. Now I've got to go about my day. I've got a million things that I need to get done, but, um, I'm so excited and now I've got to get a pen. I need to work out which one I want. Um, ben and I were talking about them last night. He's got like a bunch of Mont Blanc pens, which are beautiful. Um, but I need to go and have a bit of a play because I like pens that are really like, they're so fine that they scratch the paper. I just love that sound. And I feel like my writing just looks better. Um, again, I said, I'm a perfectionist, so, um, I like them to be really neat and tidy, but there's also, um, a pen that I like the look of from Tiffany's, which is gold, which I think will be fit perfectly, obviously, because this has like gold hardware. Um, so anyway, I will get a fancy pen to go in here. I just don't know which one yet. And I won't do it online. Like I said, I like my, the pens to be really fine. Um, and so I need to go and actually test them. So the next Sydney trip that Ben and I take, um, I dare say we will be pen shopping, which doesn't sound exciting, but we actually tend to do that with every trip actually, because, um, Ben's a bit of a fanatic when it comes to, <laughs> to pens as well. So anyway, um, that is that I am over the moon. Like I said, I've been wanting it for a while, but I am aware that it is a little bit crazy to spend so much on, um, a book cover really, because it's got nothing in it. But when I found these, I knew it was a done deal. So anyway, I'm going to go now and, um, I will pick up the camera tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, on Saturday to start vlogging. And, um, like I said, there's been a few other items, which when we kind of like come across them, maybe I'll talk about them or, um, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I definitely want to, to be better, um, with vlogging and more consistent. So I am really sorry for having to take some time 
off. It was necessary, um, particularly when I was stressed because I become quite zombie-like and very distracted um, and it turns me into a mute as well. So um, that's why, but yeah, thank you um, for, for being patient with me and um, thank you for coming and watching this vlog. I understand that this is probably a really rubbish vlog um, particularly considering it's been a couple of months and I should have done better but um, I'm, I'm, I feel like I've got my training wheels on again so hopefully from next week the vlogs will be much better um, and more enjoyable to watch but um, and I feel like I've also forgotten a million things that I did want to tell you um, in this catch-up but that's all right they'll come up um, in in the vlogs now that I've picked up the camera again but um, like I said thank you very much again apologies for my um, disheveled appearance um, particularly as I'm like in my tracksuit which I feel like I'm always in my tracksuit at least once in a vlog um, I just I live in them and when I'm at home because they're just so comfortable I hate being restricted um, but anyway Thank you and um, I'll see you next week.